What's up, everybody? I'm Justin Paiochi. Ashi Hin Nishlin. Bit Utni Bashishing. Kenny Ani Dashishing. Kodich Ini Dashinelle. I am owner and chef of Paiochi Food Group, also a partner here at Navajo Ethno Agriculture. Before we go any further, go ahead and like and subscribe to follow us on our little journey with food and a lot of uh, ingredients that we have on the farm along with other uh, guests that we have. With us today, we have Sean Light of Iron Internal External. Hello everyone, my name is Sean of Iron Internal External. I have a background in exercise science, which is a specialist, and I'm currently at UNM going to internship with the football program, baseball, and swim team. Today, Sean and I are gonna be showing you um, how to plate different textures of squash, full utilization of it, and also using the odd ends and bits and pieces of vegetables to create a healthy meal plan for you and your next time that you're gonna be working out. This beautiful bad boy here is called Blue Hubbard. And we're gonna show you guys what it looks like on the inside. So take your sharp knife, be very careful. Nice clean cut, sort of. And of course, this is what it looks like on the inside. A lot of people think that you have to throw all this away, but it's actually pretty good eating if you show it a little love. So go ahead and take this part out right here. These are like the guts and whatnot. So our seeds are saved, the little guts are right here, and then we went and roasted these a, a little bit earlier, just to show you that these are edible. You want to have one? So kind of like pumpkin seeds or even pinions, I like to eat it whole just because. Yeah, it's pretty good. Just salt, <laughs> salt and pepper with them. With these little guts right here, all I would do is cut it down make little strips get these out of the way a little bit of salt take a little bit of lemon and let that sit so what I'm learning from this experience is food is very fun, very colorful and simple, but mainly I've been, what I've learned in this whole process is that I'm basing it more off my brand, which is internal, external. And I'm thinking, thinking of it more as internally, I'm enhancing my performance, externally the work I'll put out in the gym. So thank you for that, Sean. Now we have everything ready to go and we're going to show you how um, easy it is to plate something a little bit more nice, I guess you can say, and keep it totally healthy and with the emphasis on squash. So we have here, like we said, roasted butternut. We have even seeds roasted, some blue Hubbard puree that we pureed down with a little bit of orange juice and a little bit of salt. Here's the zucchini that we just marinated with a little bit of lime, a lemon juice, salt. Here are the insides of the squash, marinated with just a little bit of salt and lemon as well again. These are the raw uh, seeds, we're not gonna use that just yet. Um, these are the shavings that Sean so delicately and beautifully shaved for us as well. Mm -hmm. We have some of the puree as well and a little squeeze bottle too. And then um, along with uh, full utilization of the vegetables, here are some of the leaves of the celery. And for some reason, I always see people throwing this away. I don't get it. This as well, the, the tops of this, great salad greens. Sean shaved a little bit of that as well, so we're gonna use that. All the way down to the ashes. So we took some of these a little bit earlier, threw it in the fire and just let it do its thing, save some of the ashes. 
and that's going to be kind of a seasoning as well on the top it has a little bit of alkaline flavor but it also is um i mean navajos we used everything you know what i mean so this is us showing that we can um full utilization of the squash like we said so usually when i when i start plating something and i have a sauce i'll go ahead and go with that first so we'll go ahead and go here you can copy mine if you want to um, either or i mean i'll give you handy this one off real quick so i'll just show something here sometimes one really popular um technique is a little swoop do another one this way just drop and then maybe another little dot there so you can try with your plate over here remember it doesn't have to be perfect <laughs> there's beauty and there's beauty in the imperfections so that there you go perfect so try from here another, and then just drag it straight forward just like it is. There you go. Look at that. Look at you. <laughs> Beautiful. I'll put that on the side. Uh, next, I would go with these little pucks that we have. So, go ahead and pick which one you want. A little careful. There you go. Drop it anywhere. This is your plate. Your star. Or moon. And moon. I'm going to go ahead and go with this star as well. Remember, these are roasted. And all I did was take a little um, uh, regular cookie cutter and cut them out. Put that one right there. I'm gonna take a moon too, just for my buddy. And now watch this. We're gonna create some, a little bit of um, 3D height. Yeah, <laughs> we call it height. height. So, I'm gonna show you one more technique. So you can have some height on yours too. We'll cut this little end off. Remember, full utilization, this is going on my plate. Yours, you're gonna stand like that anywhere you want to on yours. Pretty. There we go. All right, so next thing that we're gonna add on to our plate is the quote unquote guts. I'm gonna grab your little plating utensil. I'll just pick one up and I'm gonna plate across one of mine. A uh, little squash that I had, there you go. Kind of looks a little, yeah, anywhere. Ooh, I like that. Nice. Next um, component I think we'll go with is the marinated zucchini. Another squash as well. Remember we just put a little bit of salt and lemon on there. One little technique that I like to use is the called the roll so just go on hold up that kind of seals itself and then sushi mm -hmm. <laughs> like sushi <laughs> Next, I think we'll go with the um, toasted seeds that we have. So again, just for some texture. And these are just roasted with a little bit of oil, salt and pepper. Nice. And then, 
We'll go and play and have some fun with the ducks. I'm getting from this whole experience is that it's very fun but not only that but what comes to my mind is a lot of kids don't like to eat greens and <clears throat> I myself don't like to eat greens as well so having this having this much fun with the plate makes it much more fun so adding so I think helping or knowing that I have a lot of nieces and nephews having fun with different shapes like you said, textures, movement is really what's coming to my mind. And so you can just make the whole plate fun. So like different shapes, if you have, if you're introducing new shapes, so like the crescent here, giving different uh, vegetables names, dots, circles, paper thin. I totally agree. And like he said, it's a lot of fun and we're adding different textures, we're adding different flavors, but it's all fresh, it's all really good for you still. And we still have one last one, the little ashes that we said, that we um, toasted in the, in the fire actually. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of that in there. This is actually used for tea, but you just tap it. This is actually cool. It looks like pepper and but it's actually uh, squash, squash ashes. And ashes is actually a big part of um, Navajo food and um, at the same time anyway. Cool. So we thought it would be some fun if we could show you uh, how to meal prep as well with some of the squash that we have left over. And Sean is gonna actually gonna teach you a little bit about how these are good for you and show you the ins and outs of what he is best at, which is the body inside and out. So MTC oil is one of the ingredients which is used to help reduce lactate. Lactate builds up. Uh, so when you're thinking of the pump, that, that is what lactate is. Uh, squash is a lot of vitamin C, <clears throat> which is a big, which has been like a big topic around the whole COVID virus, which includes a strong immune system. So a lot of healthy greens. So would you say that um, the squash is um, a healthy choice for meal prep? Yes, uh, squash is a carb for those of you who ask what a carb is. Uh, think of this as uh, a new thing that has come out is the uh, greens powder. So you can make your own greens here, adding those powdered greens to your own diet. Um, so a lot of fiber, which is helps with your digestive system. Think of yourself as an athlete. You're enhancing your own performance with what you put into your body. <clears throat> Cucumbers are actually a really good um, hydrant for your body, right? And they have a lot of water inside of it. And so, I mean, there's also some really good greens as well, like he was talking about the powder um, elements that they use for um, your, your workout regimen. With this um, little package that we're showing you, notice that there's a lot of dark greens as well. And I think Sean would agree, and then like uh, with many other um, professionals out there that the darker the greens, the better it is for you in the long run, which is the, what the powders are made out of, correct? Like the spinach and stuff like that. A lot of fiber, which helps with the digestive system, a lot of my, uh, minerals and vitamins, which benefit your body. Low in sugar, I mean, there's sugars and everything, but like this is gonna be better for you in the long run. Um, there's basically no fat in this, which is really good for you as well. But um, what, one, one important thing that we really wanted to show you was we keep talking about full utilization of the, the plants and the ingredients that we're using. So we have some of the little tops of celery here that we can throw in there. And that just adds a, 
big boost of color as well. We have these radishes that some people for uh, for some reason they like to throw away and um, totally edible and really good for you. Notice that they're dark greens as well. Add a pop of color to that. We have some celery, add some more fiber to the plate. And then another really important part that I was gonna show you guys is right here. These are the little rings out of the, the plate that we played earlier. These are the extra little parts. They're still good for you. They're still edible. Um, the skins probably have a lot of extra nutrients built inside of it as well. Add this to your bowl. And now you have a nice little salad to go. Give you some energy throughout the day. That one won't sit still. There we go. And now you have a nice little, little prepped meal for the rest of your day. MCT, uh, coconut oil, as Sean was saying, good for you, good fats, helps you um, utilize fat as an energy. It's also really good for your brain. What I usually do is um, I'll have this coconut oil and then just some lemon. Both of these together make a really, really nice vinaigrette. You just add a little bit of pepper to your salad, maybe a little bit of salt too. Squeeze the lemon, a little bit of oil on top of it. Boom, done and done. And if you'd like to add more protein, you could, the day before or the day of, you could chop up some grilled chicken, toss it in there, add tuna, steak, whatever meat you like. But think of vegetables, it's a carb, and carbs helps fuel your body for high intensity workout. Or in general, carb is what feeds your brain to think, to function throughout the day. Yes, sir. So, nice little meal prep for you. Um, make about five of these, last you throughout the week. Uh, have a nice little good meal at the end of the day. Thank you again, everybody, for tuning in. We hope you found this information useful. And we hope it inspires you to go out there and step out of your comfort zone and use these beautiful species. You can find Paiochi Food Group at paiochifoodgroup.com, also on Instagram and Facebook. You can find Navajo Ethno Agriculture at navajofarming.org, also on Instagram and Facebook, and now YouTube. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And you can find me on Instagram as well at Sean underscore R Light and Iron. You can follow Iron at Iron Internal Thanks Sean for being here. Kia hat. We'll see you guys next time.